the guy. Riding his ra- racer scooter into the wormhole. He kicked it. All right, hey guys, welcome to the next game, the first in the plot block. Well, rather by this point, the premise block, because this game doesn't keep the plot going, but it's World Tour. This game was uh, released in around 2003, I think, by Papaya, published by Crave, so you know it's good. And in it, it's some more awesome, hot scootering action. Actually, motor scootering action. So that means the game like tries its hardest to not let you come to a complete stop. It's awful. But at the start, the band has been taken away, the band is not playing, and we have to play as Wasabi, the roadie, to get him back. And with wow. me, it is Tinker. Hey, how you doing, everybody? And we've got Bearda back. I am the Slaz you always wanted to be. Shut the fuck up. God damn it. So So his name is Wasabi. Not to be confused with Wasabi. The uh It's, it's I guess, Wasabi, yeah. The, no. the Oriental it's that Oriental stuff, you know, the, the hot stuff. Co- that correct. Get. It's Wasabi. Yeah. That is his name. Do not wasabi. diss his No, it is was, Wasabi. Wasabi. Do not diss his family we're lineage. It's All right. So you've got You've got your standard regular Kariki. regular circle tricks, regular square tricks, but then you've got sick airs and sick freestyles. Those are your special so you're tricks. you're setting up your tricks. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that sick, seems like so much work. Sick manuals, sick grinds, and sick lip tricks. I mean, the game's got them all. You know, it's been a while since I've had, you know, a good, simple game where you ride around a level doing objectives. And it's going to continue to be a while until I get a good game where you ride around doing objectives. You know a really good game where you ride around doing the same objectives over and over and over again with almost no variety? And what would that game be, Tinker? That would be the new game Watch Dogs that just came out. (laughs) (laughs) Where, uh, after playing for about 40 minutes, I actively hacked every object I'd ever be able to hack, and the mission variety had already been expelled, or expunged, you know, words. And I felt that for the next 15 hours of gameplay, I was doing the same thing, but I was just shooting people with different skin color. It would alternate between me shooting people in this gang, which were black, of course, and me shooting all these corporate people, which were white, of course. So, and it just kind of cycled back and forth. I recently played this, like, exclusive contract mission that was all hyped up. It was just a bunch of white guys in a corporate building again. And it's like, okay. So, I'm really glad that we're going to see some original gameplay here. Alright, I'm guessing back in the day you didn't pay $60 for this, right? You might have. Well, I'm asking you because you bought it. Uh, back in the day meaning, like, a couple months ago? When you bought it. No, it was like five bucks. So back to my original statement, back in the day, he didn't pay 60 bucks for this. I just don't know what you mean by back in the day. Back when it first back when came, it out. came out. I didn't buy it when it, it first pro- came it, out. It wow. Like, the PS2. I would, you bought it like a couple months ago. It okay. would probably so, be like 20, maybe 25 okay. bucks when it first we're came fi- out. We're viewing, it's <laughs> two, <laughs> what day is it? Like June what, 6th. What, what, the, what, 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 what time is it? It's... Start date 224, 25. Okay. That was okay. that was a reference to the start of the Star Trek movie. Yes. Um, All right. He, he talks really So, cool. World okay, Tour. So in it, you've got a score goal. You've got like, you've got two bosses that you need to fight because you got to get keys from them to what? You got to get keys from them to open the gate to go oh, okay. destroy the transmitter. Those are the same. And then there's a bunch of level specific ones. Like here, we've got to knock down some skeletons. You know. Cool. So they've got the, the like the, the same kind of balancing mechanic it looks like I see in a lot of the yeah. the skating games but but this is a little bit different instead of a nice smooth arch they've gone with a uh, almost what I would call one of those hairpins bent out into an arch yeah, it's, I it's know. all wavy yeah I see yeah, um, I, mean, um, I think some of the Tony Hawk games do that um, where they have the um, the bent thing but it seems to go like the balance it seems like it's less easy to use than the balance on the oh Tony God. Hawk game. You just ran into somebody. Yeah. Who was that? Uh, that was probably a boss. That was a boss? I, I, yeah, yeah. They didn't do anything. Alright, so, things that set this apart, things that make this not just an ordinary game. I just game. read, released all skeletons from that cunts. Yeah. Did oh. that, is that what it said? <laughs> no, that's not what it says. <laughs> I, I started saying yeah before he finished his sentence. What did okay. it say? Was it coffins? Released, released all skeletons from their chains. Chains. Okay, it flashed, it flashed, okay. it flashed really quick. So okay. I was... 
the good things about this game, since they're on motorized scooters, they go uphill, like, no matter what. So you're grinding a rail. You don't need to worry about, like, stalling out and sliding back down it. You yes, just go up. As, as the scooters, as the scooter is, is, is grinding the, the rail with neither wheel touching it, that's when the motor really kicks in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, make sure. And also, there are it's sort of... It's really a giant fire extinguisher that you oh can't see. Oh my god, you wiped that pretty hard there. Yeah. And there are, like, it's... little collectible power-ups you can see. Like, all of them are blue except for the one yellow one, but there's ones that increase your spin, there's one that increase your next jump height, and there the yellow ones will reset your balance. So on really long rails, you can be, like, going, like, oh my god, I'm about to lose my balance, and then you hit one of those and you, like, stabilize. Wow. And then there are scooter tokens with scooters on them. You collect 20 of those, you get a new scooter. I, I really like those power-up systems, especially the balance one, because that fixes the problem of, oh, I'm supposed to grind this really long thing, but I'm going to fall off halfway through? You know what I really like to think about? I like to, when I'm looking at these games, you know, just these classic, where you just roam around this open map, and you just do those objectives, you know, you're just chilling out, doing those objectives. I like to think of the group of guys who are sitting in a room, you know, designing these levels. And, I, you know, I just, I'm imagining that 35-year-old man saying, let's put a catapult in here, and a guy in a wife beater can jump off of it on a motorized scooter. Yeah, And yeah. everyone else just immediately burst out in applause and said, we have got the new PS2 flagship game this <laughs> I, I, this is going yeah, to the be catapult, the catapult feels like this is going to be the defining game of the generation the ca every, every game that ha comes with a map editor everyone always makes one level if there's anything like a gravity lift or something to launch you up everyone always oh makes something God. to just launch you up toward the top he and just, this game just ran with it and did it in this level did you see him spin? yeah yeah because he collected one of the spin power ups Dude, if that that kind of spinning would black out a fighter pilot. That yeah. was insane. Yeah. There was some insane G forces there. Uh, I, I take okay, oh, look at that. Not, not to change the subject, but I'm gonna change the subject. I, I take it the thing that looks like the no. handle of my plunger. <laughs> How is he going up? I, I take it that's the special bar. Am I right at the right? Uh, at the right side of the yeah. How is he yes, going up? Yes. Okay, <laughs> viewers. Yes. A beardless plunger does look like that. So on the right, that is your special bar. When you fill it up and it's glowing, you can do all the yellow special tricks. Can you use it like and <laughs> and if you press, l if you hold L two, it gives That's you a speed. It gives you a speed boost. <laughs> your special is to use it as anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> can we please keep it PG thirteen, please? No, no, dude. So anyway, ignoring the uh, ribbed the dildo on the right okay. side of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a cut. Um, <laughs> All right. Like, I like those lighting effects. Those are actually pretty cool. Okay. So I said some of the goods of World Tour, some of the bads of World Tour. It's really clunky. It's really clunky. You might see me struggle to grind a rail, for example. Because I didn't see you struggle to grind up that rail for about 45 okay. seconds okay. without La your wheels. Landing, touching. finally landing on a rail because the game really likes to have you wall ride like the six inches of whatever it is below the actual rail. So why is the back tire constantly kicking up dust when it's driving over concrete? Because you're it's just leaving a trail of coke. It did a ton of coke, and it's just like constantly sneezing, oh, and coke wait. is coming out of its nose. Why would it sneeze out a soda? Because okay. it doesn't like Pepsi. Okay. Well, nobody, nobody it's, likes Pepsi. It's okay. So the game is pretty clunky, and like I said, it like, doesn't I... it doesn't believe in letting you come to a complete stop, which will be a problem when you're trying to like precisely ride towards things and I think I feel like everything's hitbox is like inside of itself like when I go for those CDs either I have to hit them directly or I'm going to miss them like 10 times like yeah. in Tony Hawk I never felt like I had a yeah. problem doing collectible things yeah. here it's like uh -huh. wow I just rode through the thing and I yeah. didn't get it yeah back on topic though Pepsi <laughs> like when I walk into if I walk into an eating establishment and and they're like you know is Pepsi okay I'm like God I'll just take a water you know I'd rather, I'd take rat piss over Pepsi <laughs> <laughs> it's like Wait, that's that expensive. stuff is so that stuff is so bleh. it's like you drink Pepsi and it feels like after you swallow it, it it coats your mouth in this like liquid grit 
it's like the most disgusting Whoa. soda I've like ever tasted. Like my dad makes pancakes. Oh my, my god! For some reason, my dad, like he he cooks pancakes perfectly, <laughs> but if you let him make the batter, he puts grits in it. Why? Like what? like raw grits. <laughs> he literally puts raw grits in the pancakes. That's and so why, you go. Has he ever tried not doing that? I have no idea. Like like it's always best when my mom makes the pancake better and my dad cooks the pancakes because then they're not burned and then it doesn't taste like it has sand in it. <laughs> I don't like if I wanted I sand in my grits, I'd take my pancakes. To, or if I wanted sand in my pancakes, I'd take them to the beach, throw them on the ground. And then just shove them in my mouth. Uh, it would actually be a lot easier to just eat the sand. Yeah, but, uh, uh that's a so, Okay, so hold on, hold on. I think we need to get back to the topic of the video yeah. game here, because that's really right. important here. Um, so, so he just wrote, he just wrote through a beam of electricity for the second time. I'm like. trying to destroy this transformer, and to do so, you need to hit these three power things. And this is, oh. this is exactly showing what I was talking about. I've spent two minutes trying to hit these three things, so, and I've been fucking up, like, the entire so time. So to shut off the transformer, you're going Trans to crash into all of the high-voltage conductors with a metal scooter. Yes. Okay. Sounds safe. Yes. No, 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 no. He's never touching the ground. He's never creating a complete circuit. Uh, well, he's creating a complete circuit between the beam and the conductor on the wall. And his heart. And his heart. <laughs> okay, so seven, seven uh, objectives per level. You know how much? You know how much power it would take to arc electricity like that thirty feet that it was arcing? That's insane. Like, he right. would die just being in the room. So, you complete a level, and then you can do a race for each level. And in it, you're going to uh, race some freaky fish dude or something. You're racing, Ste you're racing Steve from Splashdown. Whenever I see old loading screens, I just imagine that it's taking, like, 20 seconds to load, like, 4 megabytes of data. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so it's like... You know, it, it's a race course with a whole bunch of grind rails, and what you're supposed to do is successfully, you know, utilize the terrain to make okay, your way so down. Okay, but... so I see where the uh, the skill factor comes in, because you both got what appears to be the same but model of scooter. if you nose manual, you go flying forward, because I think it's only when your back wheel touches oh, the ground that you slow down. It's like when you grind the rail and your wheels stop touching anything, you go faster than when your motorized wheels yeah, are touching yeah, the yeah. ground. Yeah, okay. So to cheat any of these, nose manual down all the downhill inclines. Wow. Oh my god, he's just sliding on that concrete like it's ice. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Okay, Whoa. so with those scooters, did anybody, like, growing up, using those scooters, did Whoa. anyone actually take Whoa. them seriously enough to do any tricks with them? Or did they just ride them around like I did? I don't know about motorized scooters. I tried to do a regular scooter to trick, and I was awful with it. Yeah, Whenever like... I would try to ride a regular scooter, I'd hit my shin and get really fucking pissed and walk away. Um, yeah. Wow. Because it would spin around. Like, you know? Alright, so we beat the fish okay, dude, so we beat... and then oh my God, he's he, he turns into one of our bandmates. What? Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, so you just saw fish pussy? What? The what? fish was nude, and it turned into a girl. It turned into the lead singer. Is my statement incorrect? No. Yes. Don't say no, because his statement was completely incorrect. It was completely correct. <laughs> you just saw Lovecraftian horror turn into one of your bandmates. That's all that happened. But the fish was nude. Quit looking too much into it. I can't not look into it when I'm getting a direct challenge. Who challenged? Okay. He did. Okay. World Tour Episode 1. The castle. World Tour Episode 1. Tune in tomorrow when we do this again. And don't forget, check out the new Kevin James movie because he definitely isn't just acting in anything now. It's called Kevin James Zookeeper. And he's the f he's the funny zookeeper yeah. that can't yeah, just that can't that can't keep 